Hey, do you guys know about Fender Champs? I'm sure you've seen these little tweed amps around. But uh, next time you see one, take a look and see if it's got just a single knob here. They call that a chicken head knob because it has a beak there and kind of like that thing on the top of their head right there. And so anyway, you click it and you get power and you go forward, crank it up to 12. But it's going to get really distorted when you turn it up to 12. So that's it for controls. There's a fuse here. You want to make sure that's not opened up or loose or fallen out. There's your pilot light. You got your input one, input two. This is a Mojo kit, but it was built by my local amp repair builder guy, Max. And he did some really cool stuff, like he put a pentode triode switch in here somewhere. Where is that? No, I guess not on this one. It's got a bright, well, it's got like some modes, like a bright, normal, and hot. I just, it's a three-way mini switch. And it's just got some different modes. You can really cook it. So what I'm going to do, it's also got uh, an external speaker jack. So I can, I'm going to plug in a different uh, deal over here. So anyway, this is a kit amp, but it was built by an expert. And that makes all the difference in the world. He probably swapped a few pieces out, a few, uh, a few components. So I'm going to take the speaker output and run it into this Rockman power soak, which is an attenuator. Then I can crank this without blowing our heads off. So here's my uh, speaker cable going into the amp. Here we go. So you're going to hear some pretty cool stuff here. Turn it on, warm up the tubes. I'm going to turn the output down on this. And just for fun, I got the this speaker hooked into the output of the attenuator. Just to give me a, this has got a 12 in it. So I thought that'd be a little more fun. Next, we take the Strat and we'll plug it in. And we're going to crank that sucker and it's going to be crazy. This mild mannered looking little, you know, grandma's suitcase is going to deliver the goods here. So you've heard these champs on a lot of records. All right, here it is kind of like turned up to like five. So that's a normal kind of sound. And we hit. So here's like the stock mode. Turn up my attenuator a little bit. And we turn it up to like seven. Turn down the attenuator. So you just balance it out. Now we crank it up a little more. Turn down the attenuator. Much more hot. Crank it up to 12. That's on the stock setting, so I'll, I'll flip that little switch. And it's even more blistering, blazing hot.
now I'll flip it down to another mode. Kind of cleaner. Anyhow, that's pretty fun to have around the house. I can even turn the volume down more on the attenuator. So you can get the full on blistering attack of that thing at a really low volume, which is nice when you share a house with another human being. I try not to drive my wife out of her mind. I feel sorry for her, living with a guitar player, but. An attenuator really helps if you got tube amps. It tames them way down. And uh, you can just experiment and find different levels. Yeah, you're just trying to find the right balance between um, clean and dirty and volume. And so that's what the attenuator allows you to do. And it's loads of fun. So if you ever have some small tube amps, think about getting an attenuator. Because none of these have master volume except the Marshalls. These are all just single volume knob and that's where you get the gain by cranking that up. Or not. Clean is turned down. Gain is turned up. And that's about it.